Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with acrylic inks in our art journal pages to make a really quick page. So I'm starting off um, by gluing down some vintage text into my book just because I wanted a different surface to work on. So you could obviously do this over any surface you've got but I just like the, um, the effect of just having a different paper in the background. So this is from uh, an old encyclopedia I think um, that I had and just use some gel medium to um, stick it down on my page. So what I'm using is some acrylic ink. Now if you didn't have acrylic ink you could certainly use um, the Dina Wakely gloss sprays, you could use watered down acrylic paint, you know it's all going to give you a similar effect but ink is just that little bit more fluid so it just does really lovely things. And, it's a bit hard to see what I'm doing off screen, but I um, painted some water on the page first. And the reason I did that was I wanted it to flow a little bit more easily and to make drips down my page. Then I just added the ink onto the page and just let it do what it needed to do. And then I'm going in and drying it. Now the great thing about acrylic ink is that it is um, waterproof when or permanent when it's um, dry just like acrylic paint. So now I'm going in with an additional colour, this is like an ochre colour and again I am just dripping it down the page and um, using my paintbrush to help control it just a little bit. So you can be a little bit che um, cheeky with this and, and just force some of the drips coming down the page. But I really liked um, this colour combination of the ochre and the, the Prussian blue. It's sort of just um, gave it a sort of a really vintagey feel to me. So once I'd done my background I decided I wanted to put a face on it because I've been having a bit of a face go at the moment. <laughs> I just like having that on my page. So I'm just going in, I stamped this Dina Wakely image onto some grease proof paper or um, collage tissue and I'm just using some um, gel medium again to glue it down the page. The great thing about gel medium is um, it makes everything go translucent and you can see me sort of smoothing in um, because my um, ochre paint wasn't uh, ochre ink, sorry, wasn't a hundred percent dry underneath. It has reacted a little bit. Um, it is best to actually let everything dry. But the good thing about it is it kind of works in your favour in the fact that it kind of tints the um, tissue a little bit and um, helps it sort of all blend together. So I decided I wanted to incorporate that tissue onto the page a little bit more so I've now just dripped some more ink over the top of it again. That kind of hides any of those um, edges of the paper and just makes it look like it's sort of peeping out through this sort of sea of ink which I really liked. Once I've finished I'm then getting my Stabilo or pencil and I'm just drawing in the features again. So obviously by um, doing it on stamped paper and then sort of gluing it down and having a very dark background, it kind of all blends into the background. So by putting the black ink or black, sorry, um, pencil over the top, it just pulls everything back out again. I always put in the whites of my eyes and put in the catch-alls, and now I'm just going to water activate the Stabilo Oil pencil. So this again adds that little bit of shadow onto the page and it's pretty easy um, to sort of create where your shadows are going to go. The, the water does the work for you. So as soon as you um, add water to it, it sort of just gives you this beautiful black inky line. So at this stage I was actually really liking how this looked. I loved how it was kind of peeking out of the shadows, which made me think, you know, well let's have that as a quote. So quite often if I'm doing a page like this that I'm not really thinking about, if something pops into my mind like, oh, she looks like she's in the shadows, I'll go to my Pinterest um, app and type in shadow quotes and see what comes up. And this came out, she emerged from the shadows and I just thought that was perfect. She did, she sort of just appeared and came out. So I did what I don't usually do, I actually used a pencil just to sort of work out where I wanted to write this because I've been trying really hard to work on my cursive writing. Um, I'm a little bit more 
um, not worried about it but I, I, I'm, I'm trying really hard to make it look nice and I'm a bit nervous about doing it on page so uh, that's why I use the pencil but I'm doing what I usually do is once I've written it out I then go back and I thicken up the down strokes just to give that little um, bit of balance to the letters and to make it sort of pop out from the background a little bit so once I'd dried it I'm then just making sure I'm happy with my shadowing so adding a little bit more water in sponging off anything that's not quite dry and then going in with a white pen and just doing um, a little bit of a well, I say shadow but it's probably a highlight um, to pop it out from the quote from the background so it just helps it's a bit hard um, being this far away with my head in the way but when you see the close-up you'll sort of see just that little bit of white around those letters helps pop them out from the background makes them look like they're floating on top of the ink okay and that's it so there you can see the white around the letters and the brilliant thing about stamping onto the tissue is you can see how incorporated that is into the background it looks like you've drawn the image when you know you've kind of just traced over it which particularly for someone who's beginning and not 100% sure about drawing figures is a great way to start um, creating on your page so thank you very much for watching I hope that's inspired you to have a go with some inks and some stamping on your pages until next time bye for now